Good morning, Seminole Ridge, and welcome to WSRH News, your leading source of news here at Summer Ridge High. I'm Santa Coyalo. And I'm Kaden Norton. Today is Tuesday, March 5th. We've got a lot to tell you about this morning, but first, today's top story. Listen up, juniors and seniors. Prom is right around the corner. Please make sure to get your contracts signed in order to get your tickets. WSRH News reporter Jeremiah Francoeur has more on the story. Today, I'm here with Mr. and Mrs. Holtrup to talk about the upcoming prom. So, Mrs. Holtrup, when and where is this taking place? Prom is Saturday, April 27th from 7 to 10 at the Kravis Center. What are the steps students need to, the steps students need to bring a guest? Uh, in order for students to bring a guest, they'll have to make sure that they have a contract signed and filled out, of which we have those available outside of Mr. Crimmins' room right now. Uh, they'll have to make sure that, well, the, if you are a junior or senior here, that you have uh, your own contract, which you can sign if they want to bring a guest. If it's an underclassman, a freshman or sophomore, they'll have a certain contract to sign, or if it's an off-campus off guest, they'll have a separate contract that they'll have to sign also and they'll have to get a background check. We want to make sure we had enough time to get them out early so that uh, everybody could do that if they have to. Okay, and how much are the tickets and where can you get them from? Tickets will be available for sale uh, right after spring break uh, on Thursday and Friday lunch hours. Uh, it's gonna be $125 for if you're a junior or a senior. Uh, if you are off campus or you're an underclassman, they'll be $140. And are there any restrictions on dressing attire? Uh, as long as it's appropriate, that uh, that's all that will really matter. Okay. Thank you for your time, Mr. and Mrs. Holtrup. For WASH News, I'm Jeremiah Franklin. This Thursday, our dance team program is hosting a show in the auditorium at 6 p.m. Come on out and support them. WSRH News reporter Haven Berryhill has more of the story. Today, I'm here with Ms. File to talk about this week's dance show. So, Ms. File, when and where is the dance show? Uh, the dance show is this Thursday. It's right here in the Seminole Ridge Auditorium at 6.30 p.m. is when it starts. We're probably going to start selling tickets around 6, though. How much does it cost to get in? Um, it's $10, but if you're a student here at Seminole Ridge, if you bring your ID, it's only $5. Is there a theme to the dance show? Yeah, actually, the theme is really fun. Since it's the Dance One show, it's my beginner level classes. Um, we actually ended up doing famous movie scenes, so like dances from movies that you might have seen. So like, for example, how Dance Team did Barbie this year, right? That's a dance from a movie. Um, we just kind of took that and ran with it. So there's a bunch of different famous movie scenes in there. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WSR News, I'm Hayden Berryhouse. The Summer Ridge Lip Dub is coming up quick. Filming is this Friday during second period, so be sure to come dressed in Summer Ridge spirit. Attention juniors, the SIT is tomorrow, March 6th. Be on the lookout for an email with your testing location and time. Good luck, Cox. Did you know that we offer college algebra through Palm Beach State on campus? Taking this course is a great way to earn college credits while still in high school. The class and textbooks are free. In order to be eligible, you must have at least a 3.0 GPA and a college-ready test scores. If you are interested in taking college algebra next year, check out the dual enrollment tab in your Google Classroom or see Mrs. Wallace in room 7215. The registration paperwork is due by the end of the week, er, by the end of the school year. Congratulations to this week's Hawks of the Week. Ninth grade, Kyla Rotora Alves. 10th grade, Kyla Butler. 11th grade, Holden Eppolito, and 12th grade, Carlos Suarez. Good job, Hawks. Students were nominated based on academic excellence, academic improvement, or for their efforts at making our campus better by doing things like helping others, volunteering their time, or even simply picking up trash. Coming up on WSRH News, weather and birthdays. Plus sports. The Lip Club is an annual tradition here at the Ridge and is taking place on March 8th. Soldier. Is my soldier. Pretty boy sway. Hey. Pretty boy sway. Hey, Sienna, was, why was the sun so smart? I don't know why. Because it has over 5,000 degrees. 
Let's go to WSRH meteorologist Jonah Baker with today's forecast. Good morning, Hawks. On today's forecast, we have a high of 83, a low of 70 with cloudy skies. Looking at our 3 day forecast, on Wednesday, we have a high of 79, a low of 65 with scattered thunderstorms. On Thursday, we have a high of 83, a low of 65 with partly cloudy skies. And on Friday, we have a high of 82, a low of 67 with partly cloudy skies. For WSRH weather, I'm Jonah Baker. We have a happy birthday going out to Bradley Hare and Samantha Shelby. Happy birthday. WSRH sports anchor Matthew Mearswood joins us now at the sports desk. Good morning, Hawks. We have a lot of sports to talk about today, so let's get right into it. Our boys and JV volleyball team is hosting their season opener tonight, home against Wellington. WSRH sports reporter Nia McMinns has more on the opening game. I'm here to talk about the boys' first volleyball game of the season. So, who are you going against? We play Wellington tonight. How do you think the game is going to go? I think we should do pretty well and uh, end the game with a win. What time is the game at? It's at 7. Good luck, Hawks. For WSRG News, I'm the Miami Kings. Last night, our varsity softball team took on John I. Leonard. WSRG sports reporter and Alyssa McCallum has more on the results. Today I'm here with Maya Morrow for the softball game last night. How was the game? It was good. We were able to finish in three innings. What was the score? 17-1. to 1. How did the team play? Uh, we did good. Everybody who was able to get a hit got one, and everybody else walked, so it was pretty good. Who was your top hitter? I would say Chloe had a couple doubles, and Sam had a single, and everyone else had really good at-bats and just was able to get on. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. For WSRH News, I'm Alyssa McCallum. Last Friday, our varsity softball team took on the Westminster Academy Lions. Dentistry sports reporter Madeline Mormon has more on the highlights. Today's sports calendar, we have girls and boys lacrosse home against West Boca with girls starting at 5 and boys starting at 7. Varsity softball away against, Ro against Paul Beach Central at 6.30. Boys JV and varsity volleyball home against Wellington at 6 and 7. Also track competes in the Boca in the Bulldog Invitational at Garcia at 3. And JV baseball is home against Somerset at 6. Good luck Hawks. Well that's it for Dutch Trade Sports. I'm Matthew Mirsla. That's it for WSRH News. I'm Caden Orton. And I'm Sano Collado. Remember that you can follow us on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at SummonRHTV. Have a great day, Hawks.